Tom, give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. Well, he's making some kind of motion, so I'm going to assume that means uh, he's on board with us here. So uh, today is Thursday, March 3rd, and uh, I'd like to call to order the monthly meeting of the Board of Electrical Examiners. Um, start the meeting with a reading of the minutes from last month, which was our December 8th meeting. During that time, we reviewed and approved master exam applications for Mark Fedoric and Mark Donnelly. And then we reviewed and we approved journeyman applications for Key and Thane, Zachary uh, Schweck and Deke, Matthew Scott and Daniel Little. Uh, the minutes show that we also discussed the new exam procedure and since we are no longer proctoring and administering the exam, we are allowing members to take the, or applicants to take the exam through Pearson View. They'll be taking a nationally standardized international code compliance exam. And if they submit that passing score with an application, then we would consider them for licensing in the city of Binghamton. And that was the minutes from the last meeting. So make a motion to approve those into the record. Yep, I'll make a motion. Okay. Second. Um, favor. All right. So All we'll right. Have those minutes as the official minutes from the December 8th meeting. Um, at this point, we're open to new business. Jeremy, do we have any applications? Currently, we don't have any new applications. Uh, we're just getting people filtered through for um, this last batch that we approved prior to that taking the exam and once I get that, then we're getting them their license, as long as they pass the hands on portion. Um, right now I had two candidates that were a no show for the hands on portion. So we'll see if they submit anything for as the um, written part. So before I schedule anything else with them. Maybe, maybe they're waiting to pass the written part before they even sign up to take the hands-on. Oh, they could be, yes. Yeah, okay. And we, we have actually uh, had a couple people become licensed. They submitted passing scores to us um, and they were already actually approved to take the old exam. So when their pass, passing scores came in, we granted licenses to, was it two, one journeyman, one master? Oh. Give me one second. Okay. I think I'm just trying to illustrate that the system is is working. We we are uh, Bill and Tom. You you already had the opportunity to review these applications and we allowed them to take the exam when we thought it was our exam. Uh, when it became the ICC exam uh, and they passed it, we said, well, that if we were going to allow them to to exam with us, uh, passing score means we were going to approve their their hours and their their experience to be qualified for licensing. Um, so it looks like it's working. It's a little bumpy in the beginning, but we have been able to get a couple guys licensed through this new testing program. Yeah, uh, Christopher Sulfur, Dan Little, and Jared Allen all passed the uh, Pearson View exam, okay. and they just got their licenses done. And we voted on Brian King, considering he already had one done from a different area for the same exam. Okay. So he was licensed as well. Yeah, great. All right, so the system's working. Like I said, a little rocky in the beginning, but I think it's gonna smooth out and we'll be able to use this with confidence that we're not letting anything slip through the cracks. Um, so with no new applicants to, to review at this point, is there anybody who has any new business that they would like to bring up? No. Tim, Tom. All set. Okay, I don't have anything either. Nope, so. I'm all set. Jeremy, any new business? I got nothing new, but I do want to touch back on the, the subject of the six month versus a year. Um, it's been um, asked if there was a way to kind of have it bump back for a year 
time frame for taking the exam to doing the application. Um, that's mainly from the hall itself. Um, the, I know a lot of their guys want to try to get it done and out of the way. So it's like one less thing that they're worrying about towards the end of their um, their career part, their, their classes and everything. Um, that's, of course, out of my hands, but I know we approved six months versus a year. Oh, so they can take the exam and then, but they can't uh, get their journeyman uh, license until they pass the apprenticeship course, in other words. Correct. I mean, before um, when we were doing this, the, we were approving them if they had their hours for their working hours and to sign up to take the exam and then go from there and they'd still all finish their course afterwards. But now we can end up putting it where it's like, okay, yeah, they can take it. It's a year part. And once they pass that and then pass their classing, then we could possibly schedule everything. So we'll take that into consideration then as, as the members of the board for the next meeting. Think about that. We, we already said that we would accept a passing score that is six months or less in, in age. Uh, if somebody's applying for a license and Jeremy's saying maybe we should consider making that um, 12 months or less. I don't know if that's, you know, once you pass an exam and, and you've proven that you have the knowledge that kind of lasts for a while, I guess you wouldn't want that to, to stand forever. But uh, why don't we consider that as the members of the board if we're not opposed to uh, a 12 month, um, I guess, shelf life? For a passing test score, or if we really want to stick with six. Is there uh, anybody? Is there anybody has anything against going twelve months? Uh, so I'm trying to think of. It. I can't come up with a, a reason why that would be bad. It, it sounds reasonable. I don't think, I think, you know, any, if it were, you know, if you passed the test five years ago or seven years ago, I might want you to retake it, but I think a, a 12 month um, shelf life or, or validity isn't really too much to ask for. Yeah, I guess I don't have a problem with it. I don't believe I mean, we can we can take a vote on it now if you want, or we can table it till next meeting. What do you guys think? Anybody making a motion or you want to just think on it? I make a motion. We go 12 months. Uh, I guess I can second it. OK, Tim, thumbs up, thumbs up, approved. All right, so that that's good. Get that out of the way, Jeremy. You can report back to the hall that we're gonna, you know, allow twelve months. Uh, All right, I'll I'll let them know. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Any new business? No, I don't have anything. So if you guys are all set, uh, hopefully next meeting can be in person. Um, what the governor says, we'll keep our fingers crossed, and I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All right. All right. Thank you, gentlemen.